Welcome to week three of Choose Cruise Month and welcome back to Troy Ackerman from the Globus family of brands. Troy, I tell you what, there are plenty of people snapping up these great offers. It's going off. Yeah, thanks Mike, it really is. Um, I was speaking to one of our retail partners yesterday and they had their most productive week last week in the history of their business. Wow. Um, it was all based off Cruise Week, so uh, also Cruise Month. So Brilliant. It's really well. Yeah, no, I don't know that there's going to be anyone left in New Zealand at this rate. <laughs> okay, so we've looked at European river cruising with yes. Avalon Waterways. We've also looked at land and cruise solutions offered by Globus. Yes. So what have you got for week three? Yeah, so off the back of the success of our river cruising program in Europe, we've seen a lot of interest in our exotics river cruising programs. Um, so in the sort of um, more remote destinations or more exotic destinations such as, you know, Vietnam and Cambodia. Nice. Um, which is going incredibly well for us. Uh, you know, what makes those exotic destinations a great place to visit? Apart from them being exotic and fascinating. <laughs> yeah, look, and again, it's the whole principle of river cruising in itself. It's just a different way to see a particular area. Right. Um, Vietnam and Cambodia, for example, you know, you're sailing up the Mekong River, uh, which is just phenomenal. You're literally sailing through the villages um, and seeing everything that it's got to offer, which is, uh, which is great. Uh, are the ships the same as the ones you've got in Europe? Yeah, similar concept. So the, the whole open air balcony concept that we've got in Europe and the fact that the beds face uh, the window for the views. Um, but we're talking a much smaller scale for Southeast Asia. So nice. uh, the ship accommodates, um, it's got 18 suites, so it accommodates 36 guests. Um, and the reason we make the ship smaller is it just allows us to navigate different stretches of water to actually give you a more inclusive experience. Right, so you end up seeing places that other people perhaps don't. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Vietnam is a classic example. You, you sail down the Saigon River, which is relatively small, nice. um, to the Mekong Delta. Oh. Um, and we can only do that because we've got a small vessel. Some of the larger vessels can't do that. So you actually start from the Mekong Delta, which is a significant sort of uh, bus trip from, from Saigon. So, you know, we're literally taking you from the heart of the action. Now, what I love about these exotic mm -hmm. destinations, it's not just about the sights that you get to see, but mm. you really get to immerse yourself into the local culture. Can you give us some examples? Yeah, you do. So, um, for example, again, you know, talking on the, the Mekong, you know, you get an opportunity to go to um, a school to help the kids learn English which is great, oh, no way. Um, and to sort of contribute in that way. You go to the local markets, um, you get set a task to be able to go and find certain things to be able to cook a certain meal. Um, again, it's just really getting off and experiencing almost like a local, um, but with the ability to be able to return to you know, your very well-appointed luxurious ship um, at the end of the day, which is great. And I guess that helps you connect to the land as well. If you're going into a school and mm. you're, you know, teaching some English to the young students, yes. you really get connected, don't you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, and that's what travel's all about. It's, it's really experiencing the destination. Nice. Okay, well, speaking of destinations, travelling down the Mekong River, put, I'm going to put that in my mind. Yes. Can you talk me through it? What is it like? Yeah, look, fantastic. So literally floating markets, um, villages, um, everything that you want to see. And the ability to basically stop on a whim and get off because the ships are so small. Um, and that works really well in those sort of more intimate destinations. Geez, you are converting me to a cruiser. I'm, I'm loving this. Um, and the ships, what are they like? Yep, very Good. well appointed. Yep. Yeah, look, amazing, amazing meals. Um, Combination of sort of Western and local cuisine. Okay, nice. Um, accompanying sort of beer, wine, and soft drinks. Um, very well appointed. Um, very, very similar to what you get in Europe at similar standard, um, but just on that smaller boutique scale. And, and you mentioned before some numbers. Just reiterate them again. So you're on the ship. It's not that big. It's big enough to have a good time, small enough to be intimate. Yeah, 36 guests. 36. So, um, wow. you know, considerably smaller than what we do in Europe. Okay, cool. Um, and that seems to be a hallmark right throughout our exotics program, which we've also got in India, um, in the Amazon, in the Peruvian Amazon. Um, and areas like that too. Okay, now you know that I love my food. Yes. <laughs> That's part of the reason for going on a yes. cruise sometimes. All that fantastic food you get. Do they cater it to the area or is it westernised or they do yeah. a mixture of both? Combination of the two. Okay, Yeah, cool. so again, you know, if you, if you want the authentic local experience, it, it's there for you. Um, if you want to sort of pick and choose between the variations, there's, um, there's options there too for, for western food as well. Okay, cool. And... Uh, are there any other destinations that you think are hot at the moment? Yeah, look, I mentioned India before. We've, we've only just sort of started looking at India as a destination, but we sell down the Ganges. Um, but, you know, that's an amazing destination in itself. But you're going right. to Agra, uh, Jaipur, um, Delhi, you know, you've seen oh. the Taj Mahal. Wow. Um, but just to sail on the Ganges, you know, one of the most infamous or famous rivers in the world, um, to be able to actually use that as your accommodation base for the duration of the trip, or for seven nights of it at least, is proving really, really popular. And then also in the, um, the Amazon too, Peruvian Amazon, um, you know, amazing stretch of water in its mm. own right. Um, but you get to do the land content where you get to go and do your Machu Pictures and your things like that. Oh, and then brilliant. obviously spend some time on the river as well. Yeah, and this is the great thing with you coming in here, you open mm. our minds to outside the box, yes. which is great. 
open the deal box for us. What have you got? Yeah, so again, we've got some uh, uh, flight credit um, for our Europe, uh, sorry, for our exotic programs too. Okay. Um, which is working really well. So that's a flight credit. Brilliant mm. excursions and brilliant deals. Thank you, Troy. You're welcome. It is always a pleasure having you in here. Now, these offers, they will not last. The Avalon Waterways 2019 brochures are out now. So get into your local travel agent or, of course, you can call Avalon Waterways on 0800 267 668.